We have been having virtual Bible study on Wednesdays at 9 and again at 7 at night. And Bernie and Terry have been joining me at 7 at night. And last night, we were talking about this drive-in movie that we thought was going to happen outside in the 10-degree weather. And I said, I have been recording people and all this stuff. And, she's, and I asked what they were going to do for Christmas. And she said they were going to Zoom with their family. But then some of their friends that are musicians also, and they were going to go to the parents' homes and put on a little concert. And I said, well, I would love to have you put on a little concert for me and Zoom it. And so they stuck around at the Bible study and put quite a few songs in the can for other days, so that was, that was great fun. Oh, wait a minute, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up because she's very quiet. I'm gonna have to turn stuff up or you're not gonna be able to hear her. This is Alice Findlay, some of you know her from Table Rock, and she's sheltering, but um, I went to visit her and ask her if she would read our scripture this week. She was uh, uncertain about that, and I said, oh, no, they'll love it. I'll turn the ones up here and not the ones at the back. Then you have a little more distance. Okay, let's see if we can make this work now. In those days of decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and the second part for in a Governor of Syria, all went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting his child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to the firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Now, I've got two great kids over at Table Rock that sent me in film of the candlelight. But the little girl read as fast as the micro machine mail. <laughs> we cannot keep up with her. So if you have a bulletin, I am going to encourage you to get that bulletin out. I think you'll be the only one that doesn't have one, actually. Um, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let her talk herself through, but, but I'm going to just silence her. <laughs> because, honest to goodness, it, yeah. Avant Hope moves us, Avant Hope leads us, Avant Joy serves us, Avant Peace fills us, that we might affirm our King Jesus in time we set a place to us, Avant Supervenation by lighting the Christ candles. Okay, here we, <laughs> here we go. But Jesus is the Son of God. Let me, let me, <laughs> let me just pause her if I can. <laughs> I can't. And I don't think I can silence it either. I'm just going to let her talk, and then I'm going to go through it, and we'll say them together. <laughs> she can read fast, can she? Yes, indeed. Okay, now, let's try it. We believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Born of the Virgin Mary in the Bethlehem of Judea, he was a long-awaited Messiah whose coming was prophesied. The same Jesus lives today in our hearts. He deserves our highest loyalty and total commitment. In Jesus Christ, our hope is fulfilled, our love is consummated, our joy is complete, and our peace is sealed. Rejoice, a Savior is born. Wow. A Savior is born, and he is joy to the world, and God is Okay, now we're going to sing two verses of joy to the world, and we have kind of a treat of who's going to lead it. we got the whole James gang here. 
<laughs> I love his face right there, the fish face getting ready to go. So here we go. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Be In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. Okay, Brenda and I are gonna sing, it came upon a midnight clear and we really want you to sing with us. Sing loudly. <clears throat> I'm coming. It takes me a long time to walk from the camera up to the choir loft. <laughs>
When the angels had left them and had gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. And then skipping to Matthew chapter 1, In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. And then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I'm going to sit this one out. Okay, here we go. Okay, Maddie and Sandy are going to lead us in What Child Is This? It's on page 219. If you're having trouble seeing the screen, you can look it up in hymnal. Here we go.
It's been a tough year, and nobody can deny that. We've lost a lot of people, and we haven't been able to honor them in normal funerals. We haven't had a funeral lunch all year, and we've had a lot of funerals. But this year has also had some miraculous, wonderful things happen, and we need to remember those things. Now we've got adorable little children that have been born this year, and some of them I haven't ever even seen in person, you know. But um, it's still been a year of blessing overall, and we need to remember that. Um, <clears throat> Advent is a time of waiting. The Hebrew people were waiting for a Messiah, and we are waiting for the return of the Messiah. It's a time of waiting this year, it seemed like it was a time of waiting to get back into church. And here it is, Christmas Eve, and guess what? Here we sit, by hook or by crook. Not planned, it just happened. The weather was a big factor. Um, and healthcare changing and getting vaccinations out there and stuff. A lot of things came together. And just earlier this week on the 21st, which is the longest night of the year, Sometimes it's the date for the blue Christmas. Things came together, the three planets, to form the star of Bethlehem. That's what they call it, you know, we don't know. But there have been things in 2020 that we would like to forget. But there are things in 2020 that we will always remember. And we just have to kind of keep looking at the positive on stuff, I think. And that's hard. I know that's hard. It's not my personality. <laughs> it's hard. But I am so happy to see you here. I mean, this has made my Christmas. That we actually can have Christmas Eve service in a church has made my Christmas. I wasn't expecting it. And it's not, it's not traditional. And I can't see your smiles, and I can't come and shake hands with you and wish you Merry Christmas and hand out the, Chris the popcorn balls. I have to let you do all that. I can't offer you commun communion with intention. Many things are different, but many things are the same. And one of those things is Christ has come into the world to save us, and we, we must remember that. Hallelujah. 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 So um, we are going to have communion, though, and so let's now do the responsive prayer of confession. We celebrate you and praise you, God of new beginnings and surprising opportunities. Because you never cease to make yourself available to us. We appreciate you and thank you, God of unquenchable life and irrepressible grace. We love you and embrace you, God of unfailing compassion and constant companionship. Because you walk beside us and transform us into the agents of love. Forgive us, O Lord. When we speak to you, you are the ourselves and shut others from your influence. Forgive us, O Christ. We will follow in our own weakness and take advantage of the weakness of others. Forgive us, O Spirit. When we deny your nature and the hold your compassion on our world. At this time, let's have a moment of silent prayer. Bring your concerns, your worries, your stress, and your regrets to the Lord in prayer. Now let us pray this together. Heal us, restore and empower us, O God. We pray for the sake of your kingdom, which has broken into our world. Amen. Hear the good news. Before we knew we needed Christ, God knew, and he loved us so much that he sent his son to die for us. That proves how much God loves us. In the name 
of Christ, you are forgiven. Okay, I don't know how to silence this. I'm sure there's a way. I'm trying to teach you how to use these things. Push the tab down, and it should release the top. And then you get this little plastic thing, this clear plastic thing, and you peel that up, and it releases the fish food, the wafer. After you get the wafer in your hand, then you can lift up on that foil and get to the grape juice. But I got to tell you, I finally ended up using the point of a pencil to get the one open at Table Rock. So it's not always so easy. But everybody try to get your wafer out first. Now, I'm going to read with you, so this is going to be real weird. The Lord be with you. And also with you. We lift them up to the Lord. We lift them up to the Lord. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always.
by your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as for the forgiven children of God, let us pray together. The prayer Jesus taught his disciples. <clears throat> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now eat the bread of life, drink the cup of forgiveness, and as we meditate in silence, we will listen to George and David saying, O oh, Holy. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us in this feast of communion. May it be for us a foretaste of the heavenly banquet that you have prepared for us in eternity and that you share with our loved ones who have gone before us. May it nurture us and strengthen our spirit and our courage and our faith as we go forward. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, now cut the lights and um, <clears throat> we're gonna just start on one side because we can't stay socially distanced and, and do the cheers thing. That's why we're not using the candles. So we're just gonna stay where we are and we'll just start on one side and we'll just, as we sing, we will light up our, our little beam here. Don't shine at anybody's eyes. It's a surprisingly good little flashlight for 97 cents. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> One more, so there you go. That's dark enough. <clears throat> Pull those doors shut, that'll help, because that light is not anything you can turn off. There's no three-way switch up here. Before I start the song, I want to just remind you that the world was formless, void, dark, and the Spirit of God swept over the darkness. And God said, let there be light, and there was light, and it was good. Jesus was God, and he was with God, and nothing came into being without him. But when Jesus came into the world, the world was a dark place. 
and he came as a light to the world. And no darkness can push out light. You can't put enough darkness in a room to push light out. Light pushes out darkness. 2020 has been a kind of a dark year. But the light of the world is with us and has been with us and does not socially distance. And when we couldn't be with our parents or our brothers and sisters when they were ill, God could. And that continues. So keep that in mind. It's a good thing. It's okay, Tom. That's good enough. Get your flashlight and rejoin your bride. Go ahead and go sit back down. You're fine. I'm not going to have you turn them back on, so you don't have to stay over there. You've been deserted, Jim. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. The James family going to lead us in Silent Night. Before I give the benediction, I want you to just look up. Because our lights are dancing on the ceiling as if we were calling Batman. But we're calling Christ. We're calling the Spirit of God to come and visit our lives. Our homes, our hearts, our community, our country, and our world. And he will. And he has. Behold, the Lord proclaims to all the earth, your salvation has come. You are my holy people, the redeemed whom I have sought out, never to be forsaken. 
As God delights and rejoices over you, go in peace, rejoicing in the Lord, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Amen. <clears throat> now, we have a little special treat for the end. Now, I received a lot of wonderful gifts from people in this congregation and in Table Rock. Amazing things. And, and clever things, and heartwarming things, and of course a lot of money, which always fits. And one of the things that I spent the money on is I upgraded that camera. Because it was a free power zoom, which would have been fine on the pole, but it wasn't enough back there. So I bumped it up to a pin power zoom, and when I learned how to use it, you will be thoroughly amazed. <laughs> maybe, maybe by the first Sunday in January, which will be the next time we meet. Maybe by then I'll know how to use it. But um, I had a few things going on this week. I didn't have time to play with it. But one of the things that I got for Christmas was through Heifer International, an, al an alpaca was bought for a needy family in Africa in my name. An alpaca. Nice. But here's what I really wanted. Now they'll keep doing that because I got them on the loop, but y'all go home and have a merry and safe Christmas. And thank you for coming. Um,